Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. I hope you guys are doing well today. We are going to be continuing our series, which is Complications Explained. Today, we're gonna to be talking about, drumroll please, the jumping hour complication. This is a very unique complication that you don't see a lot in modern watches. It's actually fairly rare um, to see in modern watches. It's just not a complication that has been used very often, but there are some out there. Um, this is a cool complication with a cool history um, that really spreads throughout um, the history of watchmaking. So I'm excited to jump into this. If you are new to this uh, this series, I'm basically gonna tell you what the complication is, where it came from, and then talk about some of the watches um, that you can find with this complication. So um, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the jumping hours complication is um, essentially a complication um, um, instead of having an hour's hand that sweeps between the hours, a jumping hour complication points exactly to the current hour, hour and then jumps to the next hour as soon as 60, 60 minutes has elapsed. So um, a very common thing to see in these watches is there's a little window that has the, um, that points exactly to the hour that, um, that it currently is. So let's say it is 8.25. A lot of the times you'll see a watch with an eight in that hour window, and then a, um, a sweeping minutes hand that is pointing to 25. And that's it's very easy to tell the time with this complication as it's very precise. It tells you exactly what hour it is. So um, fairly, fairly, uh, fairly simple to tell the time on this watch. There are jumping hours uh, jumping hour complicated watches sometimes also come with jumping minutes. So you'll have a window that says the um, hour and then you will also have a window that says the minutes. Um, to go just into the uh, history of this complication, this complication was developed by an Austrian engineer named Josef Palweber and he created this uh, complication in a pocket watch. And essentially he, this complication uh, this watch, this pocket watch that he created, had both the jumping hour and the jumping minutes. And then on the bottom of the watch, uh, right where six o'clock would be, there is a seconds, um, a sub seconds dial that obviously shows you the elapse of um, of the seconds. Now, like I said, this was this came about in 1882, and so um, it became wasn't so popular, but it really became popular in the late 19th century and early 20th century. Um, following that, there was a little bit of a lull, and then in the 1920s and 30s, during the Art Deco movement within watches, these really became uh, very, very popular. There's a very popular um, vintage uh, Volcane that has an, a jumping hours complication in it, um, and those are coveted by collectors today. I, I know it's actually quite difficult to find one in fairly good condition because the complication is a little bit delicate, and I think that's something that you have to keep in mind when it comes to jumping hours. Um, following that, uh, the next kind of place where these really became popular was in the 1970s when the um, when it when the quartz uh, movement kind of came through. These fell out of fashion between like the 30s and 70s just because of um, the other watch movements that came about. In the 1970s was where these really came back, and they were used more in. Um, in, uh, in quartz movements, but also in mechanical movements. And I think they were moved, used in mechanical movements because in the 1970s, with these competing, uh, this competing movement that was quartz, mechanical watchmakers had to say, how am I gonna differentiate myself from, uh, from quartz watches? I think this was also kind of an era of funky watches and these definitely play into it. So there's some really interesting ones um, that you can find out there from the 70s and they have kind of like a, almost like a, um, like an ovular shape and it was a uh, long way. So if you're looking at your watch, it would be an oval that stretches along your arm as opposed to the other way. Um, and so uh, the 1970s is when these were popular and now, you know, there aren't many that you can find out there, um, many modern versions of these pieces. Um, I think most of the time you're gonna find jumping hours, uh, the jumping hour complications in vintage watches. There's a very interesting uh, Bulova jumping hour mechanical watch that you can find um, that has these like steeped lugs on the um, left and right side of the case. And then obviously you have the jumping hours and then um, the minutes below it and then the seconds below that. Uh, these are all on discs. So really the movement is in incorporated on, on uh, is, is 
show is displayed on um, moving discs. Another popular jumping hour complicated watch is uh, Cartier made a jumping hour watch. I wanna say in the 30s, I could be incorrect about that, but I think in the 30s Cartier made a jumping hour uh, watch. Um, so uh, that one's also very popular. I know some um, collectors on Instagram have been um, fairly vocal about that. Um, as far as the modern watches, there are some 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 versions of the jumping hours. Uh, Gerald Genta has a jumping hours uh, watch in, in um, Bulgari made with um, for Gerald Genta's 50th anniversary of the Arena by Retro Watch. Um, it's got a really nice blue dial, and obviously it's got the the, the hours right in the middle, and then it has this um, this retrograde uh, minutes uh, minutes track that runs above it. Um, another Chrono Swiss makes a jumping hours as well, but I think the one that you're gonna see most commonly, at least on Instagram, um, if you are on Instagram, um, be sure to follow us at Life on the Wrist. Um, but the, the most common one is IWC's tribute to Palveva edition 150 years. The IWC obviously was um, was paying a tribute to the uh, pocket watch that Josef Palveva made in 1882. And they made a mechanical watch that has this complication. It runs off the caliber 94200 um, and has a very, very similar look to the pocket watch. It has the jumping hours at 12, the minutes, uh, the jumping minutes in the middle of the, of the dial, and then the sub seconds at the bottom. This one retails for this one retailed for 36,600 US dollars, so a fairly expensive um, jumping hours complication. But this one is seen all over Instagram because it really, I think it it pays, uh, it, it perfectly represents what Paul Weber created in 1882 um, and does it in a very, very um, simple and uh, elegant way in a 45 millimeter rose gold case. Um, a phenomenal watch. If you do have one of these in the collections, congratulations, because this is uh, an absolutely incredible watch. Um, and so you don't really see many of them in, in modern watches just because um, you know, they, they, I guess they fell out of style. It's not a complication that a lot of watchmakers make, um, but a, a beautiful complication nonetheless. I like it because when you see the hour jump, it really, it's a different, it gives you a really different feel when you're, when you're trying to read the time, if you see the hour um, jump forward. So uh, a very, very cool complication. I hope you guys enjoyed this video where we talk about the jumping hour complication. If you don't know, we have a series called Complications Explained, where we kind of talk you through some of the complications. I do not have a jumping hours um, watch, unfortunately. I can't really show you one in person, but I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm positive during my editing, I put up, up a bunch of videos and pictures of these. Um, so um, uh, I hope you enjoyed those. Um, We've done complications explained on different uh, complications. We've done the chronograph complication, the triple calendar, which is what this uh, Le Coultre, um triple calendar moon phase watch is. If you don't know, this is available in our store. Um, so be sure to check it out. It's a really beautiful watch. Uh, we did a whole video about it, so you can check it out. But we have made other videos about some other complications, triple calendar being one of them, jumping hours now being part of our, um, our collection of videos. So be sure to check those out. Also, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you like videos about watches. We're basically just a bunch of watch enthusiasts who love making videos about watches, so be sure to do that. Also, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button for us for the YouTube algorithm, it really does help us out. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time.